Here is the 2025 MacBook Air with the M4 chip. I'm gonna show you how to set this up and I'm gonna transfer everything from my old MacBook Pro. This is a 2012 from here to my new MacBook Air. And we're gonna use the Migration Assistant. So the first thing is let's set up the MacBook Air. You get this hello screen here, just select on one of the keys. Now you just have a couple things to set up first. So go ahead and choose your language. I'm gonna go with English here. Choose your country or region. I'm in the United States. I'm gonna click on continue here. Now it says transfer your data to this Mac. Okay, how do you wanna transfer this your information? And first one is from a Mac, Time Machine, or Startup. That's the one we want, okay? But you can also do it from a Windows PC or computer, set up with iPhone or iPad, or you can set up as new. You can even set up as new, get everything set up, and then later transfer everything as well, okay? But we're gonna do everything right here. So we're gonna select that first one from a Mac. So we're gonna go ahead and select Continue right there. And you have your accessibilities here. You can look that up if you need any of those. I don't need any of those. I'm just gonna go with Not Now. Uh, we have to get on the Wi-Fi here, so let me, they both, both computers have to be on the same Wi-Fi here, okay? So put, get your Wi-Fi, put in your Wi-Fi password, and then tap on continue. Data and privacy, go ahead and read through that, and then tap on continue. Now, on the new MacBook Air, we want to leave it just like that, and now we want to go to the old MacBook here, and we're going to find the migration assistant, so let's bring up the search bar, hold down command F. And then this will come up here and just type in migration insert, M-I-G-R-A-T-I-O-N. Oh, there it is, migration assistant right there. So let's select on that. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Going to enter my password to this old MacBook. Then tap on OK. So here's a migration assistant on my old MacBook now, okay? And it's, how do you want the transfer information? You got all those. What we want to do is the last one, to another, to another Mac, so my old Mac, to the new Mac, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and select on to another Mac right there, and then we're gonna select on continue, and now it should make it discoverable, and then on our new MacBook, it should find it, okay? So it did find my MacBook Pro to my old one here, and then, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to select continue. Make sure both of the numbers are the same. Okay. And then on the old computer, we just click on continue. Transferring information here. And the new MacBook Air is just sitting there like that. Just checking MacBook Pro. And then on your new MacBook, it says transfer information. It's going to calculate all of this so you'll know how much um, it's going to transfer from the old one to the new one. I know I can transfer everything, okay? This is a one terabyte, and what I have on the old um, MacBook, I only have like 800 uh, gigs, but I have one terabyte on this one, so everything's gonna transfer, no problem. So I'm still waiting for this to be calculated, and this here is just on the old MacBook, just doing that, so just be patient here. Okay, so it's done calculating, and it says here, I have, if I, all these are checked, so I have like 777 gigs selected to transfer, okay? And if I transfer it to this MacBook, I'll have 195, almost 200 gigs available on this MacBook. So I have plenty of space. Now, another thing you can do, too, is uh, if you want to take out some things, that you can see, like, where that little arrow is, like, under that first one. I can click here, and there's some things that you can uncheck. You can see how much, um, like, I have, like, 28 gigs of pictures. I can uncheck that and so on, okay? But for myself, I'm going to transfer everything from my old, the whole shebang, okay? So now I'm going to go down to continue here. I'm going to continue. And now I have to set a password to this uh, MacBook, okay? You can keep it the same password as your old one, too, if you wish. So just put in twice and then click Set Password. And then we're going to click on Continue. Okay, so it's, it's transferring right now, okay? Now everything is being transferred by Wi-Fi, okay? So if you click on Connection Details here, I can see I'm only getting 30... 30 36 megabits per second, okay? If I leave it on Wi-Fi to transfer everything, it's gonna take literally hours and hours and hours, okay? However, I went out and bought a Thunderbolt 3 cable here, so I can probably do it in like 30 minutes instead. So you can see my, I'm transferring rate is 36 megabits per second. Once I connect this, it's gonna be like 2,000 megabits per second versus 36, okay? And this is a Thunderbolt 
three USB-C to USB-C, okay? So let me go ahead and connect both of my MacBooks here. So it's now connected through this wire to here to here. There we go. So after I connected the Thunderbolt uh, cable, you have to wait like two minutes or so, and then this finally pops up here, okay? You can just click on connection details. Before it was like 30 megabits per second. Now look, it's 1850 megabits per second. And migration assistant will automatically se select the best available connection, okay? So there I am now, all right? So I'm just gonna wait for everything to transfer here. And you can see what the old computer is just doing, just that right there. And it says transfer four files. Give it a second here, and it'll give you an estimated time to finish, okay? So let's just be patient. Just wait now. You can see the current connection, too. It was peer-to-peer, -peer, and when I connect a Thunderbolt, after a while, it will change to a Thunderbolt there. Okay, there we go. Now it's showing how much transferred, okay? And a little bit longer, and it should give us an estimated time. Now, my about seven hours, two minutes remaining, okay, with the... Uh, uh, the Thunderbolt cable. The thing is, this is going to go down dramatically, okay? Instead of seven hours, it's probably going to take like 30 minutes, okay? So let's just be patient here now. And you can see what the other one is, other computer is doing. It has that status bar there. Same with the new one as well. And you can see it was seven hours. Now, a minute later, now it's four hours, okay? So just wait. Like I said, for me with the, uh, the, the uh, Thunderbolt cable, it should be about 30 minutes total, okay? Now it's down to an hour and a half. Okay, finally done, okay? So here's the uh, the new MacBook and there's the old, okay? So the migration is complete and it took me less than 30 minutes total. Now, if it, you can wait for it to restart automatically or we can just do it now. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on restart. We got a couple more things to do. It'll take about like another minute and then we'll be all set. Okay, now I'm going to click on done here. Migration is complete. I'll select done. Now we get terms and conditions here. Go ahead and read through that and agree if you agree. I'm going to tap on agree again. Welcome to your Mac. Now just click on any key. Now sign in. Sign into your Apple account. I'm going to put the password in and then tap on continue. And I got a, just a message on my iPhone here to allow this. And I get this code I got to put into there. Two, one. Okay. Analytics. You have two options here. These are both optional. It's up to you. I'll keep them both checked. It's fine. Apple Intelligence. Go ahead and read through that. And you can go ahead and set it up or you can set it up later. For me, I'm just going to do it later. Set up later. File Vault, uh, Disk Encryption, I would advise to keep these both checked for more security, okay? And then we're gonna go down here and click on Continue. And I'm gonna set up my Touch ID. There was a Touch ID on the other MacBook. It doesn't get transferred, so you gotta do it over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up now. Um, I'm just gonna click Continue, set it up now. So let me go ahead and put a new fingerprint here. You can see, just make sure everything is all red there. Move your finger up and down. And then you wanna get the edges Okay, and then we're going to continue. Here is Apple Pay. I'm just going to set up later on that one. Choose your wallpaper. I'm just going to choose this one here. I'm going to click on continue. Welcome to Mac. And voila. So the new MacBook is done. Okay, so now let's just go back to the old MacBook here. And it said the migration is already completed. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select done here. And voila. Okay, the only thing is... is it moves all of my desktop folders on that side, except for one. This one here, I still got two of them in there, but the other computer moved over there. Anyway, there we go. We're ready to go. So with my book here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factory reset it, and then I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Anyway, this one here is ready to go.